When the calendar flipped to March, the Oregon men's basketball team flipped a switch. Round one, the Ducks faced Weber State of the Big Sky. An 11-1 run by Weber State erased an early 9-5 Oregon lead and made it 16-10 seven minutes in. The Ducks countered with a 14-2 spurt of their own and with less than four minutes held a 24-18 advantage. Weber State headed into the locker room with a two-point lead and all the momentum. Here's Bamford, go to the top. Give it right side, Huey. Pump fake, no shot. Now the three ball. Hits it at the buzzer. It is a three. And Weber State will take a two-point lead in at halftime here at Matthew Knight Arena. In the second half, Oregon stepped up the defensive pressure and went inside to senior Joe Von Catron. And the three started to drop. Catron scored 18 second half points and finished with 24 and 12 rebounds to beat Weber State 68 59. With final exams out of the way, the Ducks were free to study for the test of the Duquesne Dukes. Garrett Sims spurred the attack with 12 first half points on 5 of 8 shooting. He would lead the Ducks with 20. Big full court press and the Ducks get Lloyd to Sim for 3 and he knocks it down. Garrett Sims is as hot as you can get. The Ducks took a 43 to 34 lead into the locker room at the break. Then it was an exchange of runs in the second half. The Dukes kept hanging around. A 15 to six spurt pulled them within one, but Jonathan Lloyd answered. And Lloyd down the floor, throws an elbow to keep the ball, dribbles all the way to the rack, up and in, Jonathan Lloyd! Late in the second half, the nearly 5,000 fans did their part. After EJ Singler gave Oregon a three point lead with 6.7 seconds remaining. Five with four, it's tally, left wing. Johnson fakes the three, shot it up in the air, and Armstead's on top of him and fouls. It's a three point foul. First free throw tonight for Sean Johnson, and it's in the air, and it's on the way, and it's no good! Two Duquesne Dukes at the top of the circle. They are going to crash the boards on the miss. Johnson's shot, no good. Rebound, Catron, full game! Oregon 77, Duquesne 75. Next up, the semifinals and Boise State. The Ducks with the luxury of another home court advantage. It was a total team effort. In the first half, Oregon shot 50% from the floor and from three-point range. Singler led the attack with 13 first-half points on five of six shooting, including three of four from behind the arc. Things seemed to be rolling after J.R. Strobridge gave Oregon a 10-point halftime lead. Seven, Sim on top of the ball, six, five. He wants to take his man off the dribble. He kicks it to the left side. Near it for a long two, no good. Tipped, right side, Strobridge off the glass at the buzzer, count it! The lead builds to as much as 20 in the second, but the Broncos fuel a comeback and get within six with 119 remaining. Then the senior Catron with an emphatic explanation point. Back iron, no. Rebound Lloyd slipping and falling, throws the ball to Singler, to Sim, up the floor to Joe Vaughn for the dunk! The 79-71 victory advances the Ducks to the best of three championship series against Creighton. Dana Altman's old team meets Dana Altman's new team. Oregon drops game one on the road in Omaha and returns home, needing to win back-to-back -back games to earn the title. Game two was all Oregon with a new look, a man-to-man -man defense after playing zone most of the season. Coach Altman wanting to get the energy level up after Monday night's loss. And it was that defense that spurred Oregon's offense, forcing 13 steals and scored 35 points off Creighton's 20 turnovers. Possession and able to go back to Oregon. Here's the ball almost stolen, and it is by Armstead. Stepping down court, scoring. Malcolm Armstead added 14 points, 5 assists, and recorded 5 steals, putting his career total to 151 and moving him past Luke Ridnour to number 3 all-time at Oregon. And he got his own miss up and in. Here's McDermott who loses the ball. Ducks have it. Down to Williams. Here comes the dunk. With two hands. The nearly 8,000 fans were on their feet as the Ducks forced a decisive Game 3 after a 71-58 victory. One day of rest and it was CBI Championship Night at Matthew Knight Arena. It would be the last game for beloved senior Jovan Catron, the backbone of this team, and J.R. Strobridge. 9,300 fans got their money's worth. With 14 lead changes, 10 ties, a back and forth contest, both teams fighting hard for the CBI title. Left hand wing, all knocked inside, stolen away. Down court Williams, over to Singer on the break, lob. 
but perhaps Catron wanted it the most. The senior scored a career-high 29 points, including 19 of Oregon's 40 in the second half, and created offense out of pure heart when Oregon needed it most. Takes it in the middle, live it outside. Down inside, Duke's going to curl, spin, go up, shoot, and score! The Catron score tied the game at 67. Creighton responds and goes up by two with 44 seconds to play. Garrett Sim will score this all night and comes up big. Gar goes into the paint. Going to turn and get it out to Garrett Sim. Tries to penetrate. Does with a left hand up and in. Sim slides through the middle. Game tied at 69. 33 seconds left. Creighton basketball. And they fall deep into the woods. Young. They're going to spread the floor and take it down. And over and back! Young did not see the half-court line! Oregon with a chance now to win it all. Right side to Garrett Sim. Seven, six, Armstead over to Singler. Going to try to penetrate with a shot. Good! Two seconds! Two seconds left! Singler hit the shot! Shot at the buzzer. No! Oregon has won it! The Ducks have won it! The Ducks have won the CBI championship! We were hoping to get a one on one situation and, and a drive to the hole. There was a lot of contact. The officials just said, you know, we're going to let this be decided right now. We're going to go to overtime because. You know, EJ put his nose down and there was a lot of bumping going on, but he found a way to finish it. When I let it go, I knew it was going to go in. Uh, it felt good, but um, you know, I was, just, I was just happy to end, end the season on this. Kachon was awarded the CBI Tournament MVP, scoring 124 points in six games. An emotional run ending on a high note. Yeah, it was tough to put it in words, but it was just a great feeling, you know, just to, we set a goal when we got in this tournament to win the whole thing. And, you know, to, to accomplish that after the season we had, it, it's just great to, you know, end on this note. A 21-win season, something to build on.